Hello lovelies and welcome to another cash stuffing. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Lily. I am a 24 year old cash budgeter and stuffer. I'm currently living with my boyfriend and our three dogs in our first home together. And we are really just trying to get a handle on our finances and our lives. So if any of that sounds like content that may interest you, I hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button and sending some support my way. I literally have a little piece of vinyl stuck to my finger. Um, but happy Cash Stuffing Tuesday, everyone. Today we are here to stuff my last, my fourth and final full-time paycheck for the month of January. So we should have $585 here. Let's give it a count. 1, 2, 3, 50, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 520, 30, 40, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Goodness gracious, I am out of breath. I don't know why. But how are you guys doing? First and foremost, um, a couple quick things. One, I do have a couple new products to show you guys. Um, some new dashboard designs are coming out this week on my shop and also please make sure that you stay tuned until the end because I am going to be opening my new Tri Treats box and not only that but we are going to have a very special guest joining us. Austin is going to come up and try some of the treats with us and I'm very much both excited, looking forward to it, and um, a little nervous. So we will see how it goes. Um, so I spent all of my grocery money. As you can see, um, we are not stuffing too much in our envelopes today. Groceries is getting 90. And I believe this is how I broke it up. I could be wrong, so we'll see. So we have 50, 70, 85, and 90. We did a pretty big grocery haul last week. And we still have quite a few prote proteins and some veggies and stuff left. Um, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. These are gonna go strong for another week in here. And we will put these five um, into the dollar challenge. These are like nice and crisp, so I love that. Crisp, crisp. Okay. So, 90 and five, no extra ones. And I do have a receipt to scan into fetch. So I will do that off camera. And then I have some coins. No, I don't, there's no coins in here. I barely did any. I mean, I ended up using some of my buffer to cover it. It was, our grocery trip was more than what I had in there. So that is a-okay with me. Now quickly, before we do our bills, I want to show you guys some of the new dashboard designs. Um, this one is sort of Valentine's Day related, but it says start focusing on the things you love about yourself. I think that is so stinking cute. I just did a couple um, different color combinations, but I'm gonna, I'll let you guys choose what you want. Um, this one I thought was kind of funny. And it's, I don't know, is it kind of Valentine's Day? <laughs> Money won't wake up one day and decide it doesn't love you anymore. I thought that that was so funny. So the money and anymore are different colors. Um, but yeah, there's that one. I have, um, this is so stinking cute. It says something great is about to happen. I think that is so cute. And you guys can pick the color of your flower petals. And apologies, I am trying to kind of speed through this. <laughs> but I have some daffodils. I thought these were really cute. Um, cute and simple. I think I might, when I list them, make the petals, like the flower part, a little bit bigger. I don't know. Let me know what you think, but there's the daffodils. And then this one is so stinking cute. I love it. The um, glare from the ring light is a little much, but it says, someday everything will make perfect sense. For now, laugh at the confusion, smile through the tears, and keep reminding yourself that everything happens for a reason. I think this was so cute. It is a total pain to weed. I have to like backwards weed it, and then I think my weeding tool is just not sharp enough, but anyway. So those are the new dashboards. Um, 
The rest of this income is going to go to our bills, and this should be, we are going to stuff some of them on Thursday. Um, I posted my upload schedule for the rest of the month and the beginning of next month um, over on Instagram. Today's Cash Stuffing Tuesday. Thursday, we're going to do both our Etsy and my YouTube paycheck. And um, since budgeting it, I'm actually going to be cutting it down. Some of the money that I was going to pull out in cash, I'm actually going to spend before I do. I was going to put a considerable amount into our supplies envelope, but the I mentioned before that I'm kind of working on a little bit of a rebrand, um, just like a new logo, some new business cards, some new um, products and stuff along that line. So I... Um, put everything together. I designed everything. It looks good. And then, or that sounded weird. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's ready to be ordered. I've just been saving up. I've been like waiting until I've saved up for it, but I think I'm going to use the majority of my YouTube paycheck to invest in all of that. And there is a sale, um, going on like a promotion going on, um, until, Wednesday or Thursday. So I don't think I'll have time. I want to make sure that I buy those things before. So when I get paid tomorrow, today, I get paid tomorrow. I don't know. I don't remember exactly whenever YouTube pays me out. Um, I'm just going to put most of it after taxes towards that investment um, and just not pull it out. So the cash stuffing will be a little bit smaller, but it'll still be our YouTube paycheck and our Etsy paychecks combined. Um, Anywho, though, mortgage is getting 250. So 200. Oh my goodness gracious! Can you tell I'm hungry? I'm excited to try those foods. I haven't had snacks in so long. Um, mortgage has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifty, nine, fifty, and one thousand, which is my half of the mortgage. Um, this is random, but I did get a new microphone, you guys. I'm still kind of working on how to set it up because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to connect it directly to my camera, like I do this one that I'm using right now. Um, I might be able to connect it to my camera and plug it in somewhere else, but I think I might have to record the audio and video separately, which is a little nerve wracking for me. I know a lot of people do that, but I feel like it's gonna complicate things. Um, 25 is going to utilities, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 110, 25, 30, and 135. I'm curious, you guys, what is your average um, electric bill? Ours have been right around like between 200 and 250 lately. Um, even on the month that we lost power for like five days, four or five days, it was still like over $200. So I'm just curious what your guys' electric bill um, looks like because we thought that it was gonna be lower. I mean, our house is bigger than our apartment, but we are two people and we like use a lot less electricity and we're more very conscious about like turning lights off, turning, unplugging things and just, you know, all that. Um, we do have an electric water heater though, so that might, do I sound stupid or does that like impact it? Anyway, forget I'm talking. Insurance. Did I skip internet? I did, I, did I skip right over it? Sorry, sorry internet. We're adding five. So we have 10, 20, 35, 45. And we did save extra last month. I only need 35, so we're gonna have 10 left over at the end of this month. I gotta remember that. So maybe next, next month if there's like a short week, I can cut that out. Insurance is getting 20 and I am going to pull this out and renew my insurance policy at the end of the month. Um, it expires on February 10th, so I have time. Um, insurance it has five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred in the bank, 950, 70, 90, 1010, 30, 50, 70, 90, 1110, and 15. Did I count that right? 1,115 in car insurance. And that's over 200 that we have saved for the next six months, which is awesome. And then registration is getting five. 
So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 15, 25, and 130. In registration, and this expires in, or needs to be renewed, I guess, in um, August. So I will put five away each week until we hit 200. Um, Best Buy is getting 35, so 20, a 10, and a five. And we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 30, 40, 50, and 155. Yes, last Thursday I messed up a lot of these. And so I don't know what was going on, but I just messed up a ton of these. Skipped some envelopes, skipped a whole binder. I don't know what was going on. I was just distracted, but we're going to be okay. So phone is getting 10, and we have 10, 20, 30, 45, 50, and 55. I think we might be stuffing a little bit more of this on Thursday. Sam's Club is fully funded. This expires in February, so I either got to go over there and renew it, renew it online, or give this to Austin to renew it, because he's the one who goes there a lot. Student loans is getting 100. So we have 152, 53, 50, and 400. So that is fully funded for next month and then care credit is getting this last 40 here so we have 50 70 90 110 30 50 70 90 210 20 30 and 235 and i think that that is going to be our month end for this month which is amazing because our goal is like 160 or something like that so that is it for our bills and she is looking stuffed to the max so i'm excited to unstuff this and then lastly for the cash stuffing we are going to add this lovely i believe it should be five dollars one two three four five two hour dollar challenge challenge and there she is let's get you to focus but that is how she is looking she's slowly but surely thickening herself up and you guys so that is going to wrap up the cash stuffing portion of today's video and now we are going to get into the fun part i'm going to move this stuff out of the way and we are going to try some snacks i am so excited um try treats if you're watching i am so sorry i am so bad at checking my business email and i did and they had emailed me a while ago asking us in another box i reached back out and i'm like i can't believe i missed this in, in other more professional words, you don't gotta ask. Always send me a box of treats. I will always be down to try them. So this, if you didn't know, is a box of snacks. The company is trytreats.com. And what it is, is a subscription for a box of snacks from different countries, an international snack subscription box. Such an amazing idea. I actually heard about them when my parents got my brother a subscription for Christmas years ago, and I have been so happy and excited to have been working with them for quite a while now. Um, there is an exclusive coupon code for you guys. Um, it's just Lily Budgets, and you get 15% off your first box purchase through the link. It's in the description along with their website um, and all of their socials and stuff. So I'm so excited to see what this month's box is. Austin is climbing the stairs right now. So we're gonna get started. Why are her hands up Relax, like that? Mom. <laughs> Relax your hands, mom. <laughs> you look so stiff. Okay, so welcome. Uh, introduce yourself. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so this is Austin. Greetings. Um, okay, so. We are going to try these treats. Do you know what country that is? I'm excited. Uh, you don't have to guess. <laughs> Brazil. Brazil. Nice. I know a couple of good people from there. It's a wonderful city. So um, with the box, they send you a little info about the country, like a little postcard, and then all the info on all of the snacks that you're getting, as well as some fun facts and a recipe from that country. So we're going to try those out another time. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> Lots of colors. Lots of colors. There's some candy in this one. I can tell you're going to love those. Oh, I should put my hand there. No, you can put your hands in there. These are so you. I know they are. 
Oh, you can't have this. Austin is allergic to strawberry, so all the strawberry things are gonna be for me, but he's more of a chocolate person, so he's gonna head some of the chocolate things. Those are so you. Okay, let's pick. What do you wanna do first? Um, do you wanna try one of these bags, or do you wanna do chocolate? I'll try a bag first, because you really okay. never know what's in there, you know? Which one? Okay, so we have... Celebrates the savory taste of cured ham. These snacks typically feature thin, crispy slices resembling chips or crisps, but flavored with the rich essence of cured ham. Interesting. And then... Wait, no. Other way. That's yes, these. Yes, I say that. That's these, because that's ham yes, right there. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is sweet granny popcorn. One of the most famous sweet popcorns in Brazil. Now, I love kettle corn. So if this is anything like kettle corn, do you want to try this one or do you want to try the ham? I'll show the ham first. Okay. With the armadillo on the front. Yeah, interesting. So that is what it looks like. I love that. Nice. Smell test, give it a smell. They look like bugles. They, they look kind of good. They smell like ham. They smell good, yeah. It smells... Here, grab one. <laughs> <laughs> You're so interestingly <laughs> shaped. They are. <laughs> okay, right. ready? Yeah, it tastes like ham. Hmm. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, honestly, very good. I'm impressed. Wow. Very interesting. Consistency is good. Melts right in your mouth. It does. It tastes like cheesy ham. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, corny ham, yeah. Corny. Well, they're like <laughs> corn chips. That's pretty good. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. Okay. Let's try something chocolate next. <laughs> um, Batman? Baton? Oh. <laughs> Baton? Baton? I think that's what it is. What does it say, babe? Baton preto pegarato. This is a <laughs> delicious chocolate stick in the cylindrical form of a baton. Baton is a best selling chocolate for children in Brazil. And in the year 2012, it was consumed more by 17 million Brazilians. So very popular to say the least. If it's Tootsie Roll, I probably won't like it's it. It's not going to be Tootsie Roll. I think, think it's so? like a chocolate bar in the shape of... You should break it in half. Maybe I'll look cool. Get a little, get a little cross section. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> interesting. Nice. Okay, there's that. Very cylindrical. Oh, it smells good. It smells like chocolate. I'm I can smell honest. from here. It smells like good quality chocolate. Good chocolate, actually. That is good chocolate. Interesting. <laughs> the aftertaste is good too. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to finish that because it's so good. Okay, do it. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. I want to try this because there's banana on it. Looks like that. And it says naturally light, healthy, and tasty snack made from overripe bananas. They're mixed with sugar to create a highly nutritional snack. Overripe. Lovely. Overripe. Interesting. Ooh, it's like a. Oh wait, I break that in squ half. No, it's squishy. Ooh, that's it's all squishy. you mean. <laughs> no. I'm not a squishy. Oh, they're eating ham chips over there. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs got into the ham chips. <laughs> Mama, that, Mama, that's chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna try it. If it's good, I, I won't lie to you. That is really not bad. I would eat this whole thing. Can I smell it? Yeah, it, well, it tastes better than it smells. Just taste a, take a little. <laughs> okay, this is my favorite thing so far. What? This is really good. That is 10 out of 10. Wow. I'm impressed. Mm -mm -mm. Can we try the Lolo? Mm-hmm. It's by Nestle. So these oh, are a Brazilian snack that offers a delightful combination of creamy yogurt and crunchy cereal. Oh, it's a Snickers. It's a Brazilian Snickers, I'm telling you. No, it has cereal and yogurt. That's Ooh. A that's a Snickers. Way. Snickers, that's a Milky Way. No, Milky Way. <laughs> that was good. No, Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers. That is what it looks like. Oh, Three look Musketeers. There's little holes. That actually looks very good. Oh, that does look good. Okay. One bite, everyone knows the rules. <laughs> oh, there's a hair on it. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> that tastes like a Three Musketeer bar. Mm -hmm. Good. Which is my favorite. Chocolate. Who makes bar. three musketeers? I don't know. Nestle? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. It could be. Uh, ironic. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that we should divide and conquer for the next one because you can't eat the strawberry. So. I'll read the description on that one. On this one? Right. For me to open it, or do you want to open it? You can open it. Okay. So next, we got the Bis by Lacta. 
iconic Brazilian chocolate snack, renowned for its deliciously addictive nature. Oh boy. These delectable <laughs> treats consist of thin, crunchy wafers layered with a velvety oh. milk chocolate. I don't know where that rest Ooh, of Ooh, I can tell you, you like this too. I'm going to like it. Hold on, before you eat that. I gotta bite into this. Go for it. I just know it's gonna sound so cool. You do it. Chocolate may fly everywhere, so hang on. <laughs> mm. You get a bite of that. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. That's some good stuff. This is basically, mm. okay, a little camera malfunction. <laughs> the description says that this is, it infuses the fun of a lollipop with a creamy essence of yogurt. So it consists of lollipop sticks and creamy yogurt flavored coating. But it's strawberry, so Austin can't eat it. So I am going to try it. But that's what it looks like. Okay, it's not a bite thing. It's like a suck <laughs> thing. Touching by the sound, you're correct. But it does taste good. So I will enjoy the rest of this later, but it is good. Mm -hmm. it it's good. good. It's nice to have a little fruity. It smells, yeah, it looks like a hard Laffy Taffy. It's like Laffy Taffy on a stick. Yeah. Okay. Put these chocolate shavings off. Okay. Let's do bag. Oh, I forgot we haven't done that yet. This is the sweet popcorn. And I have a feeling that this is going to be. Also gluten free. Whoa. Not what I was expecting. Also gluten free. At all. Would they have like sugar on it? I don't know. Oh boy, if so. You ready? Mm. It's almost like that Christmas popcorn. It's pretty good. The more you eat. Yeah. I think the first bite might have been a little odd. That's tasted, uh, yeah, the consistency is not my thing. It feels like it deflates in your mouth. It's like coated <laughs> in some like sugar or something. It's pretty good. It's very sweet. I like it. Okay. So we are down to our final three. We have these. What are these? Those are the Pasta Tempos by Nestle, Nestle again. Ooh, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Okay, so what are they? They are a cookie stuffed with milk chocolate filling, especially designed to provide a nutrition filled and fun snack time. Made with a mix of oats, cereals, whole milk, and chocolate flavored drops. Interesting. What snacks do you think would be in an American box? And what do you think the descriptions would be? All Reese's Cups, because they're Reese's, the best. Oh my gosh. Twizzlers. Uh, hopefully not. Oreos. That'd, that'd put a bad rep for America. Okay. Okay. It's got a cute little... I don't know how to focus it. Has some cute cows on it. Is it a cow? Uh, or like a... Potentially a uh, I think monkey. it's a bear. Well, <laughs> look on there. It's a monkey. So I think each one's different. Oh, it is a monkey. No, it's a yeah, monkey. No. You're right. You're right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> Mmm. 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 Mm. That's number one. Yeah. That's number one. It's not bad. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's dancing over there, so mm -hmm. if that tells you anything. That's the one right there. Okay. I'm going to save the best for last, so we're going to do this one next. And I don't know what this is. It's a little chocolate. Ooh. I was going to say, judging by Blanco in the front, it was going to be white. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to break it or do you want to take a bite? Well, I don't know what's in it, so I kind of want to bite it and find out. Okay. You bite it. <laughs> me bite it? Yep. What if it's strawberry? No, it's not. Do you want me to? <laughs> want to find out? I think it's chocolate. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what it looks like, courtesy of Austin's mouth. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Just, I didn't know what to expect inside of it. Mmm. That's good. I do like that. Okay. Last but not least. Oh. Oh, they are gummies. These are a delightful Brazilian snack that combines the creamy goodness of yogurt with the fun and chewy texture of gummy candies in bite-sized pieces featuring a fruity yogurt-flavored coating that encases chewy gummy centers. And I... I'm a candy person, like a candy candy person, as you may know. So, do you want to try one? Yes. You want cheers? Potentially watermelon. Take wait. Take your guess. I want to say this one might be mint, but also like maybe banana. Coconut maybe. 
coconut. That's a good guess. Pineapple. I'm gonna say apple. It could be apple. Maybe watermelon. Could. Mm, I don't know. Okay, Trace. ready. Apple. Mine's coconut. Mmm, is that good? Mm hmm. I'm trying another one. That I'll... tastes like. Mmm. What does that taste like? Very good. Familiar. That is really good. It's very yogurty, but I like it. I like it because it's not too sweet. Okay. In this family, I have to eat all of the pink or red f colored candies because we don't know if they're strawberry or not. So, do you want to try an orange? <laughs> you guys can't see, but Cedric is sitting right here <laughs> staring up at this candy. So cool. Okay. Right, Ready? Mm -hmm. we'll Definitely guess. strawberry. Is it orange? <laughs> mm, that's strawberry. Clementine. <laughs> okay. That's all the flavors. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Mm -hmm. I liked that box. I'm impressed. Mm, I want more of this. We the give banana. The one more ham chip. You want to give the dogs a ham chip? Yep. That's popcorn. It's right there. Good boy, buddy. <laughs> good boy. Good crunches, Eddie. Hey, Seth. I don't think Cedric's ever been on camera. Hey, Seddy. <laughs> Okay, there's no more snacks okay. for you. Two hands. No more snacks. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we need mama, mama needs one. Mama, you want a snack? Good girl. <laughs> good girl, mama. <laughs> good babies, yes. These are good. Mm -hmm. mm. Thank you for joining me, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, okay, what's next? <laughs> well, with that, my friends, is going to wrap up today's video today's cash stuffing i really hope that you enjoyed if you did please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up leave a yellow heart in the comments to show your support for the channel and of course subscribe don't forget to check back in on thursday and saturday we're going to have our thankful thursday cash stuffing with etsy and youtube paychecks and we're also going to have our bill exchange unstuffing on saturday so stay tuned for all of that and with all of that being said you guys thank you for sticking around with me and i hope that you have a fantastic rest of your day week month here and I will see you in the next one bye